Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add your picture and information about yourself on this shared Google slide. Thanks to Eric Kurtz for providing this wonderful template. If you go to the second slide, you will see that I've added my image and a little information about me and a couple photos. The next example is a hypothetical student who also has photos and information added to the presentation. Your teacher should have given you a slide number for you to edit. So for example, if you're slide four, you would go to that slide and add your information and your photo. So I'm going to go ahead and type in some information for my name and about me. I'm pretending to be Julie and this is what I wrote. I love hanging out with friends. I don't know what I would do without my phone. My favorite classes are computer design, art, and language arts. I play basketball and I love eating out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use the webcam to take a photo. To add your image, you would select this template here, choose the drop down arrow of replace image, and then choose camera. You do need a webcam for this to work. So with my webcam set up, I can go ahead and try and take a good photo of myself. Of course, I wouldn't have this silly headphone on. So I will go ahead and get ready to click on this. I will look at the camera and smile. I will then choose replace. Of course, I'm not too crazy about that. You're welcome to take your own photo. So I went ahead and got a hypothetical student. I saved the image in my images folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and add that image. I will choose replace image upload from computer and go to that desktop folder computer design and open up my images folder and there's the photo. Those are the two possible ways that we'll add your image. I'm now going to add some images like on this slide to complement my words. So since I do play basketball as Julie, I will go to insert image and I will choose search the web and I will type in girls basketball. Unless of course I have an image of me playing basketball, I could add that photo instead. And I'm going to look for an image. I'll choose this one. I will then choose insert and I'm going to crop out some of the top by clicking on the crop tool and do you see that arrow? Once that arrow is there, you can push down. Be sure not to accidentally stretch it. For example, if you do it like this, you're distorting the image. So I'm gonna crop out some of the top and some of the bottom. And I'm gonna make it smaller by dragging from a corner. I want this to be attractive. Like on these slides, you can see that that's attractive. They're both the same height, which I think looks more professional. I will add another image that complements my words. So I will choose language arts, insert image, search the web, and I will type in language arts. And that's not getting me what I want. So I do enjoy writing in language arts. So I'll type in writing instead and locate a nice attractive photo. So I'll use this one. I'll select it and choose insert. I'm then going to drag from a corner to make it roughly the same height as the other image and drag it over. I'm going to hold down the control key or shift key to select both images and I'm putting a thin one pixel border that's black around the images. I want to encourage you to try and make the slides similar so that we have an attractive professional looking presentation for everyone to enjoy. Now if you notice I do have an image with a transparent background so I'm going to find another image to put here in the corner. I'm going to go to Pixabay. I'll make a new tab and type in Pixabay which is a site that allows you to get copyright friendly images. I'm going to type in art. As you can see images is selected at the top. I'm going to choose color and choose transparent and then I'm going to search. So I found one that I like. I will click on it. You will see that the checkered background indicates that it is transparent. I will click on that image and then I will drag until that presentation appears and then I will let go. I'm going to drag from a corner to make it a little smaller and I will drag it here. So as you can see these slides have a lot of similar layouts. It's not that I want to discourage you from being creative and different from this, but you want it to appear as attractive as possible for your viewers. This concludes the session on how to add your image and information to this fabulous template provided by Eric Kurtz. Until next time, you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to these wonderful videos.